we often look at the sky. We see the moon and the stars at night. You must surely be curious about the sky and the stars that shine in it. If we observe the sky on a clear dark night, preferably from an open and high spot, we note the following things. Let us study about stars and planets. Most of the heavenly bodies appear to be twinkling. Their light changes constantly from bright to faint. These heavenly bodies are stars. Stars have their own light and heat. All stars are self-illuminated. The sun is a star. Some of the heavenly bodies do not twinkle. They do not have their own light or heat. These are called planets. A planet is illuminated by some other source. Our earth is a planet. The celestial bodies. The millions of stars that we see in the sky are very far away from us. In comparison, the moon and the sun are nearer. Therefore, we see that they are spherical in shape. Other stars and planets are also generally spherical in shape. The study of the heavenly bodies like stars, planets, etc. is called astronomy. Let us study what is our solar system. Eight planets including the earth, satellites, asteroids, dwarf planets, comets, meteors and the sun together constitute our solar system. Let us learn about the members of the solar system. The Sun The Sun is the head of the solar system. It is a bright star. It is made up of extremely hot gases. All the members of the solar system get heat and light from the Sun. For life on Earth, the Sun has a unique place. Planets the names of the planets in the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These planets are generally spherical. They revolve around the Sun in their own particular orbits. Each planet has a particular period of revolution. There is difference in the sizes of different planets. Now let us study about satellites. Some heavenly bodies in the solar system revolve around specific planets and not around the sun independently. They are called the satellites of those respective planets. Most of the planets in the solar system have satellites. The moon is a satellite of the earth. Planets revolve around the sun along with their satellites. Asteroids. Between the planets Mars and Jupiter in the solar system, there is a band of innumerable tiny celestial bodies. These tiny celestial bodies are called asteroids. These asteroids also revolve around the sun. Dwarf planets. Beyond Neptune, there are some small heavenly bodies which revolve around the Sun. They are called dwarf planets. They include celestial bodies like Pluto. Now let us study about comets. Comets are made up of frozen matter and dust particles. Due to the heat of the Sun, the matter in the comet turns into gases. These gases get thrown in the direction away from the Sun. That is why some comets appear to have a long tail. Comets revolve around the Sun. But as their orbit is long and elliptical, we can see them in the sky only occasionally after long periods. Meteors 
Sometimes we see a star falling from the sky. It is called a meteor. Many times these meteors are bits of matter or rock coming from the band of asteroids. When they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up due to friction with it. Sometimes meteors do not burn up completely but fall on the surface of the Earth. They are called meteorites. The Lonar Lake in Maharashtra has formed in a depression created by the impact of a meteorite. Meteors fall on other celestial bodies too. The classification of the planets. Planets are divided into two classes with reference to the band of asteroids. One, inner planets. Two, outer planets. Inner planets. Planets that lie between the sun and the band of asteroids are called inner planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are inner planets. They are smaller in size and have a solid crust. Outer planets. Planets beyond the band of asteroids are called outer planets. They include Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They all have rings around them made of innumerable rock and dust particles. These planets are bigger in size and their outer cover is made up of gases. Let us study characteristics of planets. Mercury is a planet which is nearest to the Sun. It is also the smallest in size as compared to the other planets. The brightest planet seen in the sky is Venus. Except Venus, all planets including the Earth rotate around themselves from west to east. Venus alone rotates from east to west. Therefore, on Venus, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. The planet on which we live is known as the Earth. Life on Earth owes its existence to a favorable atmosphere and presence of water on this planet. The planet that comes after the Earth in the solar system is Mars. This planet can be easily identified in the sky because of its reddish color. The biggest planet in the solar system is Jupiter. The second biggest is Saturn. There are three rings around Saturn. These rings are visible through a telescope. The planet Uranus is far away from the Sun. It is greenish blue in color. Neptune is the planet farthest from the Sun. It is blue in color. The Milky Way like our solar system, some other stars in the sky also have their own planetary systems. Such a group of innumerable stars and their planets is called a galaxy. The galaxy which includes our solar system is called the Milky Way. We can see the faint white stretch of the Milky Way on a clear dark night. So friends, we come to the last part of this chapter, artificial or man-made satellites and spacecrafts. Some information about the solar system, galaxies, etc. can be obtained simply by observing the sky. To obtain detailed information, we use telescopes like the Hubble, artificial satellites and spacecrafts, etc. Through them, a lot of new information is becoming available in the field of astronomy. Separate spacecrafts have been sent to study the planets like Mars and Venus. India will soon be sending spacecraft, that is, Chandrayaan to the moon to obtain more information about it.